The folks over at Lexip emailed me and they said, hey, do you want to review our mouse? And I was like, fuck yeah, I want to review your mouse. So let's take a look what their mouse is. I just got it in the mail, so we're going to open it for the very first time. And Ruka, are you interested in this? We might have an appearance by Ruka very shortly. So, now this doesn't work very well with the green screen, <laughs> as there is some green on the box, but so far, it's very pretty. It says Lexip B3D. With just one hand, select, create, edit, move, pan, zoom, and rotate your 3D model or environment. Um, apparently this mouse is very good for 3, mo 3D modelers. Um, I am not a 3D modeler, I'm just a gamer, so we are going to try it out with a few games today. And I am going to give you a little comparison uh, with my other mice once I get this open. And this comes out of the box really easily, I didn't have to cut anything. So here we go. Don't break it, don't break it. Okay, cool, here it is, that's it. Okay, so here's what it looks like up close. That's the bottom, There, this is actually green, but you can't see it because of my green screen. And on the bottom it says laser technology and class one laser product, and it has these really interesting little dots here. They're really, really smooth. Um, on the side, this is my favorite feeling part of the whole mouse. This is like really nice, soft, rubbery, grippy um, feeling. And then there's this little knob right here, which is awesome. It's like a little joystick. Um, and then the, the top of the mouse, uh, this isn't grippy. This is just really, really smooth. And it seems like it fits my hand really nicely. I'll show you what it looks like down here. Weight-wise, um, my G900 is significantly heavier on the mouse pad. The Lexip's very light. It's really important, um, the weight of my mice, uh, for accuracy. Yeah, I'm just feeling the difference right here. This one's very, very smooth. I guess these things on the bottom are what make it glide. <laughs> One thing I'm really excited for is, look at the side here, how the mouse does this. I can't wait to try that out. This one does not do that. <laughs> Menu-wise, looks like you can do a few different things in this. Uh, you can change the sensitivity of the wheel, uh, just the mouse sensitivity overall. Uh, we can change what each button does, the left and the right, uh, what scrolling up does. Uh, what the Lexit button, scrolling down, oh, forward thumb button, backward thumb button. I noticed this when I was um, in a browser that you can set this to uh, forward and backward on the browser. That kind of scared me because I accidentally hit it, but very cool. And you can do stuff with the axis. I'm not going to mess around with that right now. And then advanced. Oh, good. I can change DPI. Also... There's a little demo right here that I can show you. Okay. So if I click on that, you can see what I'm doing to this. If I... You can see my mouse moving forward and backward, and it's spinning this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna t use the little thumb thing now. So the thumb thing is zoom in and out. Oh, hi Ruka, okay. He wants to help. All right. So we're going to also spin it this way. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I'm so not used to doing this kind of thing on a mouse, so it's totally new to me, but you can see how the mouse kind of bucks in the front like that. And I'm more of a heavy handed mouse user, so I have to change my uh, grip just a little bit. Uh, to use this. You have to be a little bit more delicate with this. I'm sure I could change the sensitivity of this as well. But overall, I've never done anything like this on a mouse before. <laughs> First game I want to try uh, is Subnautica. I've never played this before, but I've also never really played a 
um, underwater or a flying game, so I think that this is a good one to test it with. Um, I've gone to the left sip control panel here and changed my stick forward, backward to vertical scroll, and then I've changed uh, rotation left and right. That's the um, the rotating of the mouse, like like this, um, to left and right, and then back and forth. Obviously, um, you can see me doing it right down here, back and forth. Um, I've changed those to left and right and then up and down arrows, so um, once I've done that, I've gone into the game and I changed uh, WASD uh, to translate into the up and down arrows as well. So, let's try this. Okay, you can see that um, normally I'm just looking around with the mouse like this, and I've also set it to be um, when I uh, put the mouse like this, I move forward and when I move it forward like this, I move backwards. So I don't actually need to use the keyboard at all right now. I can just rotate the mouse and I move in all different directions. If you put your fingers right down here, um, you can't click the mouse. So actually, I don't have to keep my fingers up um, like that the way I was before. And now... I'm driving a lot better. So I can back up like this. Yeah, I can press all I want down here, but then as soon as you put your fingers up here, it clicks. So that makes a lot more sense. Now I can drive a lot better, I think. Yeah, that's a lot more comfortable, too. This setting software has a uh, pre-made one for Elite Dangerous, so I just chose it in the drop-down. You can't see it right there, but there it is. So now we're going to go into the game and... oops. There. Now we're in the game and uh, you can see that I can look down. You know, I'll rotate my mouse to the camera there, and then up. And what you can't really see is that uh, when it's level like this, I'm just using this little thumbstick right here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, to go left and right. And this game has a lot of different um, settings that you can do as well as you can make your own profiles in the Lexip um, control panel. So you could probably make this however you want. For me, having never played this before, I feel like this is keeping me on the right track, even though I have no idea where I'm going. Um, and so, otherwise it, it feels very cool. It kind of feels like I'm actually driving this. Um, you can see that there's a little ship um, just right here by my pinky, and it's showing pretty much what I'm doing with the mouse. And I haven't set anything uh, for left and right on this, but you could probably make it turn and rotate too. But I kind of like the idea of using this little stick right here uh, for the thumb to rotate around. Oh shit, I'm gonna hit an asteroid. And I didn't do it. Those were two games that I've never played before, but I felt like they would be important to try with this mouse. So now let's try Fallout, which is a game that I play all the time. And let's see how it feels. So I've got the sniper rifle on right now and I've just popped myself into the Deathclaw Sanctuary and let's, uh, oh, oops, this is a very bad situation I've got myself into here. <laughs> so um, it feels, Precise feels like a gaming mouse. It's actually kind of interesting the way it's a bit bouncy. There's like a little bit of give to it because of the um, because of the way the shell can rotate like that. Now I have to kill this guy as well, so he's gonna see me really soon. I'm gonna get him before he can get to me. Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay, gotta get out of here. I can't stand these guys. They have that incinerator gun that shoots so far and it shoots these big flaming balls. Oh yeah, drop your weapon. And I don't also normally play a sniper class either, but 
As someone who doesn't get a ton of headshots, I wanted to just display that this mouse is pretty good as far as a gaming mouse goes. I'm not noticing anything uh, uncomfortable about it. Oh, come on. So here is their Kickstarter page. There is going to be a link under this video. Um, they say that it's a revolutionary gaming mouse with two internal joysticks. Uh, it's a 3D mouse made just for gamers. And there's a whole bunch of cool pictures of it and they explain uh, some of the things that I showed you today. So the two axis joystick shell, that's this thing right here that you're seeing me move. And the two-axis joystick, that's this little thumb stick I was showing you. And also, uh, I showed you that at the beginning. And then there's a whole bunch of compatible games. Now, I did Elite Dangerous, that profile was already made, uh, but I didn't try any of these other ones. It would be perfect, I think, for Flight Simulator, that would be awesome. Now it's rated really well, and they're just showing off all the different things. Oh, this is really cool. They've actually... Oh my god. I've never considered a driving game. I might have to try that. <laughs> and then uh, just FPS stuff. And then there's a bunch of other information too. So they make a special left-handed one as well. And then they're also showing off their uh, customization things. I showed you a little bit of that earlier too. Um, and then they're just showing off the, the lights. You can't really see the lights because um, it's very bright in here. And then there's a little breakdown of it down here. Yeah, check out their Kickstarter. It's a very cool project. Very cool mouse. And then that's it. And you can do all these different uh, levels of support for them, too. They'll probably change all the time, so I won't bother going over them. You should go and look at them uh, today. So thank you guys very much for watching this. And I was very, very happy to receive this in the mail. This is super cool. I actually do get um, an, a good amount of emails from companies asking me to promote their products on my stream and I say no to most of them because I feel like most of them are not products or services that you guys would be interested in, but this is actually cool. I actually think this is a cool product, so that's why I wanted to do this for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, check out this project, check out their Kickstarter, and thank you Lexip for sending me this mouse. Have a nice day guys, thank you very much.